Alright, so after watching that uh, new Dante demo, I've come to uh, a theory here. Well, uh, massive spoiler, so turn back here if you don't want to hear it, but that new boss, Dante cuts it open and Trish is inside it. And we know this thing had lightning powers. And it was like a cocoon, but it was very similar to what happened with Nero and Kyrie in Devil May Cry 4 when the Savior was powered by them. It was very similar. They were inside pods and then, uh, you know, they had to be cut out. Well, uh, I'm theorizing that this is a pure demon mech version of that same mechanism. But, this time, it's what the Order actually studied to create whatever the hell they were doing with the power of the Savior. Because we know that when Sanctus himself actually merged with the Savior completely, it took on his traits. And this thing took on uh, Lady I mean, Trish's uh, lightning, right? So, I mean, it... It's up in the air what's really going on here, but that's what I think, that this thing is what the Order... It's whatever this thing is, is uh, what the Order based their mechanism on to create the, the power system for the Savior. As well as, it's confirmed that it is uh, Cavalier, you know, it's a new bike, because when Dante cuts part of it off, it flies off and magnetically attaches to... Uh, just a junked motorcycle, and it forms the most badass weapon I've ever witnessed in my life. So, uh, yeah, but also, we see Dante using both Balrog and Cavalier in the fight, which means that the demo is likely not representative of the final game. Because right before the fight, there was a quick cut where we saw Dante with Sparta instead of Rebellion. But they likely cut the cutscene because they don't want to spoil too much, which I don't really get when they showed the end there. And that was massive spoiler, but yeah, so it seems like Dante is already going to have Sparta at this point. And they only have given Rebellion in the demo because if you, and again, massive spoiler right now, if you saw the uh, leaked cutscene from I think it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, well, Dante went into a devil trigger beyond the one we saw in gameplay. You know, when in uh, the, in uh, his trailer where we saw him in that winged form, that's what that was. He took on that form and then charged the new villain Urizen to uh, just to buy time for Nero and D to escape. But anyway, moving on. When this happened. That's when uh, Dante is overpowered completely, and Urizen shatters Rebellion with a single blow. And a, a lot of people were theorizing that Rebellion was going to be re restored, but because it has that, uh, that official render where it has the Damascus steel pattern on it, and that's not really visible otherwise, but, and I will link the, po the Reddit post I made about this, if uh, it hasn't been taken down by Capcom. But um, Rebellion has that Damascus pattern before it gets broken. It's only visible for a split second the moment the blade begins to shatter. It's a bitch to try and pause it at that exact shot in that exact frame. But yeah, I managed to do it and uh, there is a very clear shot of Rebellion as it's shattering, and it already has the Damascus pattern, so that really brings it into uh, question whether Rebellion will be reformed. And if that really, if that leak really was the prologue of the game, does that suggest that he will have Sparta as his main weapon throughout the game? I don't know, it's, it's possible. I, I don't think it's likely though, because it's just the sheer power of the thing, like, Dante's already overpowered as fuck, so to give him, Rebe so to give him Sparta right out of the gate? 
Oh, well, that could be it. We play a bit of the prologue with him using Rebellion. And then, when we switch back to his campaign later, which would presumably take, take place later on in the story, he now has Sparta. Because my theory is that Nero's campaign will form the early stages, and V's will form the middle stages. Nero will be trying to gather power, because in the leaked scene, Dante tells Nero, get out of here. You're just dead weight, and Nero gets pissed off because he knows he's no help, and, you know, V tells him, get stronger, which... I'm almost certain V is going to be the villain here, but that could be a massive red herring because we all thought Dante, Dante was, led, was um, you know, shown to be the villain in the early stuff for four, so. But yeah, we know that Virgil took Nero's arm. We, that is fact, we've seen it. Because, well, it's not fact, we haven't actually seen it, but it's all but confirmed. He ripped Nero's arm off then says, I'm taking this back, and transforms it into Yamato before proceeding to cut, oh, like um, a portal like a DMC Virgil did at the end of uh, that game. So that's, that's almost certain. That's like 100% Virgil. But we know Virgil took Nero's arm. And, well, unless Virgil is Urizen, and I really don't think so, because as I've done, I did a very, very extensive in-depth look at his character on Reddit, and I also did a very shittily produced video essay of it on my channel, which you can check out if you want. I don't recommend it. It's literally just a static background as I try to read off a script, which I've never done before. But yeah, I don't think, I, I really do not think Virgil is evil. No, just misguided, but that's for another time. So we know V is lying. Either he doesn't know the truth or he's lying, but that little fucking look he does at the end of the new trailer that has become just an amazing new meme overnight, uh, it's, I'm almost certain V is, he's up to something. He's definitely up to something. But yeah, so. Also though, just while I'm here, I might as well talk about the gameplay. Like it looks amazing. Dante's I was worried that when they were talking about reducing whatever they were going to do to reduce uh, animation canceling. Because you know, that's always just been it's what you do. You learn how to just chain moves into each other without letting the animations play off. My personal favorite with Dante is to uh start off a dance macabre and uh, just go into it and right up until you've done the uh, million stabs part and then switch to Dark Slayer and instead of doing the last couple of hits of Dance Macabre you do a three hit Yamato combo and allow the full sheet for a mass because Rebellion doesn't have very much range, right? So Yamato though does. If anything's in front or to the sides of you, they're getting hit with that third strike. And if you let the sheet, the re-sheet happen, Massive style boost, full DT, get full DT, rune, or whatever you want to call it. But, uh... Shit, I forget what I was saying there. Yeah, the animation can So I, I was really worried about that. But seeing how Dante moves in motion, it's got me thinking where I've started playing through Nier, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce the uh, subtitle. But uh, the way that after every move, you know, they have an idle pose where the weapon will either fade into exist, fade out of existence and pop up back on their back, or, or she will just stop using it and take an idle pose as she shoots it, stuff like that. This is what Dante is doing now, it looks like. Like when, he, when you have Rebellion out and you start running, he actually kind of holds it behind him as he runs, and it looks so damn good. The taunt, it's just so fluid. Also, remember how in Devil May Cry 3, using Rebellion in DC, you could glide? That's back. Dante can do the Rebellion glide again. What I want to know, though, is that further evolved winged Devil Trigger going to be play playable? But, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. 
We'll have to wait and see, but I, I cannot believe every time I think I can't get more hyped for this game, I get more fucking hyped for this game. Like, it, before Dante even got revealed on that motorcycle weeks ago, it, it was already the most hyped I have ever been for something. Apart from The Last Jedi and... Let's just say one of my childhood heroes stayed a fucking badass. But, yeah. Where is the fucking loop on this game? And now it's looking like multiplayer. Like, if that is not... If that wasn't a mistake, and there's gonna be co-op in these fucking games... There already was in Devil May Cry 3, when uh, in the Arkham fight, a second controller could take control of Virgil, and uh, Doppelganger also has that functionality. I don't know if that was replicated with... Virgil and DMC, I don't believe so, but I never tried it. But, uh, yeah, so it's like the groundwork is already there. So, like, and I mean, I'm sure I'm not, I can't be the only one who thought that over the years, fuck. You gotta be everyone has wanted that at some point. Some form of multiplayer co-op in these games. Cause, come on. This is just... This is looking like the perfect character action game. Like, how do you top this? You can't. But I'm just gonna stop here because I've said my piece and uh, I'm rambling. So, thanks for listening. And, uh, yeah. Looking forward to this fucking game. Have a great day.